thank you, Mr. Speaker. And also let me thank uh, Honorable Kishimo and Honorable Mule for bringing this to the floor of the House. Uh, today, as we sit here, the poor Kenyans are watching us very keenly because we are the representatives of the poor. NGCDF is what has changed lives back at home, back in the villages. Today, as I'm speaking, most of my constituents, Kitutu Masaba children, are on extended holiday because they are not able to report to schools. They are on forced extended holiday. We'll want to quote CDF as money for the members of parliament, but that's not the truth. No member of parliament has his children going to school, courtesy of bursaries. This is money for the poor. So we have to support this amendment so that we have it firmly installed in our constitution to ensure that the poor child is protected and guaranteed to go on with school. We have infrastructural funds that are usually given by the ministry. But if you look at how equitable that is done, you'll find that some areas have never received that money. You'll find national schools, one national school having received in a certain period over 160 million shillings. Whereas all the schools in my constituency, they get peanuts. They do not have laboratories. They do not have classrooms. And only this can be done by NGCDF. This is the only fund that touches the poor. We are here because the people who lined up to vote for us are the poor. Very few of you are voted here by the rich. So while we stand here, let us know that our key role is to defend the poor. And this is one of it. While at it, uh, Honorable Mule and uh, Gishimu, in the whole document, I propose that, as one Honorable Member stated, that we include elements like water into the NGCDF because as we move it to 5%, that means more funds. Let us have water covered into this fund to support the communities get water. Also, their location on sports should be slightly increased from the current, I think, 1% of their location because sport is also a key activity in our communities. This will help us nurture talent and support the youths. It's not just education. Sometimes some youth are talented in sports. Let us have more funds for these youth to be promoted in their respective fields of sports and any other extracurricular activity where they thrive in. Mr. Speaker, I stand here as one person who was educated by bursaries. I know the importance of this. If we don't do this and have it in the Constitution, if we don't work together for the sake of the poor Kenyan out there, we will, let, we will have let ourselves down. I support this. And as a member of the NGCDF committee, we'll work together to make sure that this passes and the poor man in the villages get what is theirs. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On uh, Rebecca Tunkei Narok. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the Almighty God for giving me this opportunity to serve in the August House. I stand here now to give my maiden speech because I've never spoken uh, since I was sworn in. In fact, Mr. Speaker, sir, 
I've been inserting my, my card since I was sworn in, and unfortunately, I've never put the speaker's 